This instructional video is designed to show you how to take an atom and determine what happens to its orbitals once it undergoes a particular type of hybridization. In this example we'll be using phosphorus with DSP3 hybridization and it's important to have the proper electron configuration written out uh, before we get started. So the first thing we want to do is write up what the orbitals look like before. Now because this is DSP hybridization we need 3D orbitals uh, to go along with our 3S and our 3P. So we have 3S2, we have 3P1, 2, 3, and we have 3D, which is completely empty. But we still have five of those. Now, because this is DSP3, we're going to select one of the D orbitals one s orbital and all three p's and we'll combine all of these to get our after picture and so in the after picture we have one two three four orbitals that are 3d that were left unchanged and we now have one two three four five of our d s p three hybrids In order to fill this in, we need to count up our electrons. One, two, three, four, five. All of these are equal energy, so we have to spin everything up before we can spin anything down. One, two, three, four, five. And this completes the after picture for our DSP3 hybridization of phosphorus.